folks, my next guest is an actress, director, and writer you know from House and the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Her new memoir is Era of Ignition. Please welcome to the Late Show, Amber Tamblin. <laughs> See you again. Oh, nice to see you. I like that your shoes have like a royal crest on them or something. They Are do. These, it's this? it's a feminist crest. Oh well, that's a nice. There you go. Yes. You have a new book called Era of Ignition. It's out today. Uh, it's already got an important review out oh. there uh, from uh, Hillary Clinton. Oh my lord. Right there, <laughs> saying yeah. she appreciates your thoughtfulness. There you go. Yeah. Not running for president, by the way. Did you know that? Not running yes, for president. I did hear that. I did hear that. Um, well, so what, what's the era of ignition? Is that because the world's on fire right now? A uh, little bit. A little bit, actually. Okay. Yeah. I, I, was trying to tr I was trying to come up with this terminology, this language to describe my own sort of existential crisis in my 20s. I'm now in my mid-30s. And, um, and during a time in which the nation also feels like it's going through its own existential crisis. And what do we do after this palpable rage and all the change that's, that's been happening and this really sense of chaotic timing of, of the world sort of evaporating and exploding as we know it, uh, metaphorically, of course. I was about to say, that's a frightening sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, you know what I mean? I think everything sure. from 2017's Me Too movement, from the election of Donald Trump, everything just feels like there's a lot of chaos. And, and I think you can find a lot of beauty in the chaos and a lot of clarity in that. So what I think comes after all of that is this idea of an era of ignition when everyone is really inspired and proactively creating change in their own communities. Now, you've, you've been politically active uh, for a while. You, you worked on uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2008? Yeah, in 2008 and in 2016. What yeah. was that like? Was that, what was that first campaign like? I, I, was, I was such a political geek growing up. Like, even when I couldn't vote when I was much younger, I, you know, all my friends in high school or whatever were, like, going to smoke pot or do whatever they were doing. And I was like, I'm going to go volunteer on, a, on voting day and check people in at the election booth. So I would go and literally sit there like Tracy Fleck, like I was Reese Witherspoon, just being like, wow. give me your ID. I loved it so much. And I'm, nothing's changed. In fact, I'm getting closer and closer to Hillary Clinton, as we can all see. It's finally, nice. it's finally happening. It's finally happening. Well, when you work, do, what, did, what did you do when you, were, when you were helping her? What were you, like, were you traveling with her? Or yeah, like, I, speeches or? I actually, um, so in 2008, I worked uh, at, and, and co-ran sort of her youth outreach program with your dear friend, America Ferreira, sure. who is a dear friend of mine. And so we worked for her campaign in 2008. And I remember one of the stories that I share in the, share in the book was getting able to uh, travel on her, um, her plane and getting to sit behind her during a time before one of the debates when she was taking copious notes and just sort of sitting behind her and peeking, you know, through the crack in the middle of the two seats and seeing her just like a pile of notes and I don't even know what, but she t kept taking post-its and putting it on things and, you know, the sun was going down and was like falling asleep and this was after hours and hours of travel and I just remember her putting on one of the post-its, she said, this is really important and she left it on there and so whenever I, ha on my writing desk, whenever there are things, I actually have an old post-it stuck underneath the glass on my writing desk that says, this is really important as a mantra when I'm thinking about the work that I'm doing or the work that my friends are doing, just keeping it in, in, my, in my mind's eye. Now, you, you, you write about the beginning of the Time's Up movement yeah. in this book, which is uh, about a year into the Time's Up movement. After one year, what, you know, there, it, 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 it's been such a significant... Um, cultural um, event the last, say, maybe year and a half, but time's up certainly that part of it, that organization for the last year. What do you hope for the second year? Yeah, I, I think that Time's Up is a really great example of what came out of this palpable rage that I write about in the book a lot. Um, this idea of the momentum and what do we do with it after the fact. So one of the most amazing things that I think Time's Up is doing right now is they just launched uh, Time's Up Healthcare, which I think is such an important part of that puzzle when we're talking about equal pay and equal representation across all industries. So, um, you know, as far as Time's Up Healthcare is concerned, this is about getting more representation 
representation, not only on boards of directors at hospitals and physicians, but also in research, which is a place where that is, um, you know, uh, deeply biased and, and not exactly um, equal in, in certain fields. So I think that's one of the most amazing things that we're working on. Certainly for me, this has been one of the most profound experiences to work truly intersectionally, so really working with women of all different kinds and with women that I would have never had the chance or the opportunity to work with before and for all of us to say, you know what, let's not just link arms together and say this isn't right, but remind us that there are women behind us who are not there with us and who want to come up and be a part of that and to always remember to reach behind. That to me is the mantra. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's nice to see you, Thank Dan. you, Stephen. Era of Ignition is available now. Amber Tamlin, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Hosey.